Hey there guys, Jason Vaxation back with another video. Uh, I decided to do this is my 99th video, so I'm going to do it as a two part uh, uh, video. <coughs> First part is going to be a QA. I'll be, you guys ask questions, I'll give you answers on my 100th video. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them. So that's that's my big big video. Um, figured everybody else seems to be doing it, going from uh, Dinky Dana to uh, Comeback Kid, and there's been a few others like uh, Today's for Living, and uh, shit. That's all that can come from mind. All come to mind. But uh, this is going to be a pickup video, so I just want to show you things, a couple things I picked up that I uh, haven't showed you guys yet. Now, mind you, not all this stuff is going to be for me, but uh, I'm going to leave that stuff in the bag because that's a surprise for someone. A um, few things I picked up is... Uh, Tetris Worlds for the uh, the PC. Um, I basically I just got this because my mom's out. my mom likes Tetris and like the Pac-Man stuff. So I figured I pick her this up, and you know her birthday's coming. I'm not gonna give this to her for her birthday because that's that's pretty weak gift. But uh, that's pretty much uh, the disc. Uh, it is complete. So, but yeah, I'm gonna give that to her for her probably. You know, I'll try for Monday. All right. Uh, couple N64 games I picked up. Uh, uh, surprisingly enough, this one was actually the cheapest. Um, Diddy Kong Racing. It was it was a dollar. Just like that, pretty pretty quick. Picked up uh, Mickey's Speedway USA for the N64. It was eight dollars. This one here was a little bit more, um, it's not in the greatest shape after looking at it, but, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to come by. The gold cartridge, uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to try this one out or probably just sell it, but uh, I figured I'd pick it up, and I never had a gold card before, so. Okay, uh, NES games. Now, first one I picked up. Good old RC program. If you have an NES, you have to have this game. This game was just a classic. Uh, I didn't really want to pick this one up. The price on the back was eight dollars, but uh, it's just I got this for like three, two or three dollars. Uh, Mario was missing. Yeah, I know it's it's a Mario game, but there's no Mario. It's Luigi, and yeah, it's crap. I probably won't even play it, and because I used to play this game as a kid, I picked it up, and it's pretty hard. It's a Cobra Triangle. You just drive around in a boat. Now for the PlayStation One. Now these next sets of games I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I I got them all for twenty dollars. I probably got it off fifteen, but because she's a close personal friend of mine, I figured I would give her an extra five bucks. So. Got the uh, Crash Bandicoot collection on the PlayStation 1. I checked all the discs and they are absolutely flawless. There's not one scratch in any of them. That's pretty good considering she's got kids. Also, Spyro, very complete and same condition. There's not one scratch on them. It doesn't even look like they've been been played. And, you know, the boxes actually, well, well both boxes, ew, sorry, both of the boxes seem to be in pretty good condition too. Also, oh, I'm going to keep one of these games, possibly. Uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex for PlayStation 2. Crash Twin Sanity for the GameCube. Pac-Man Fever. And the one I'm keeping because the soundtrack's actually really good. And the game's actually pretty decent for an Atari game. And it's a test drive. So I got those ones for $20. Okay, can, there's still quite uh, a little bit more to go through. Um, picked this up. 
I had a copy of it, but I sold it because I needed some cash. So I picked this one up, and uh, it was 19 bucks. And it uh, comes complete. The disc has uh, seen better days, but I can get that refinished, no problem. Now the price on this one was 20 bucks, but he gave it to me for 14 and I, I looked at the desk and actually the desk looked pretty good so I'm like okay well I'll take it and of course when I get home it doesn't work but uh, Call of Duty we're at war so I'm catching up on the Call of Duty games this was uh, 14 bucks and it doesn't work uh, also picked up a Game Boy Advance SP um, you know, same charger that uses on on this machine here works on the uh, the DS, not the DS Lite, but just the original DS. So uh, yeah, so there it is. And you're scored, and the couple games that I have for it right, as of right now is classic NEC series, the Pac-Man. Don't ask me why I said the, and Mario vs Donkey Kong. Pretty good game. And uh, the final game I got was the, um, I heard good things about it, so I went out and I picked it up, and I'm not disappointed whatsoever. That's a good old NHL 10. Um, the hits are amazing. Uh, if you score, like after the whistle blows, you score on them, they'll come after you. Like the AI is just that, just that brilliant, you know what, because it counts as disrespect. So they come after you, they can hold up against the boards. They can trip you and if you land on your knees you can still shoot the puck. Pretty cool. The hits are awesome. You can guide the guy, the punching's just a little bit more realistic. Overall great game. So that's what I got that's what I got guys. Uh, again, make sure you guys ask me some questions. This is my 99th video, my next video which will be my answer video to my questions that you guys give me will be my one hundredth video. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, again, sorry for the uh, the wait on the, but uh, I don't know. It's just you know, everybody has their own life before YouTube and after YouTube. So, anyways, talk to you there. Ask me questions. Thanks, guys. Take care.